Fuck! I thought I was streaming. Fuck! There are so many details to streaming. So literally, like, for the last half hour, I've sat here talking to myself and nobody. Oh my god! There are so many details that you have to know when it comes to streaming. I just started the stream. I've been sitting here talking for 25 minutes. Ah! Listen, complicated things aren't easy. Just like growing cannabis isn't easy. Complicated things are complicated and there's lots of little details. And I struggle to get it right on this show, just like you struggle to get growing started right. And you have a couple of choices. You can quit and sell me back your equipment, or you can take that Shia LaBeouf advice from that video that he made, where if you're tired of starting over, stop quitting. So, in terms of that, I know I failed to get the live stream to start today again. However, I have managed to get my calls to work. My So if you wanna call on the show, I've figured out how to take caller questions now. The number is 80, 84 Grow Boss. And oh, the show is really interesting too so far. I was really pleased with myself. I showed you a whole bunch of stuff around the store and it wasn't even streaming. Ah, I promise I'm going to get better at this. This is Cannabis Hotline. I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And I live stream this show. So if you have any questions, you can call 84 Grow Boss. And I'll answer your questions for you as long as they're about cannabis. Medical, we can do medical questions too. I'm a paramedic nurse. I've been smoking cannabis for coming up on 35 years now. And if you have questions about medical or how it works for you, if you have questions about cannabis, if you have questions about growing cannabis, we can go through all of those things. In fact, I already did for the last half hour. Wow, that was so much work for half an hour to throw it away. Like, I'm still boggled by that. But you can call the line. It's 84 Grow Boss. I have Skype up. I've learned how to work with it a little better. And uh, I've been sitting here uh, talking to nobody for the last 30 minutes. I'm still working that out. Okay. <clears throat> I still have a lot to go over. Even if there aren't any callers, and even though I've already done this before, oh, there is, I got a caller. All right, we're gonna see if I've managed to work this out. Hi, you're on with the Grow Boss. What can I do for you? Hey, um, I have a four by eight uh, tent, and I've been using um, metal highlight lights, but I've been wanting to lean toward using um, LED. And I've been in particular, I've been looking at, uh, um, it's the Kind um, K5 uh, XL1000. Okay, that would be And the I want big... to put two of those inside the... Sorry, that would be the big brother to this light. Oh, sorry, that would be the big brother to this light. I was just putting it up on camera. Okay. All right, so you're looking at doing two in the tent. Go on. Yeah, so I'm looking at doing two in the tent. So I read that it gives a five by five footprint. So do you think those two lights would suffice for me? Okay, so if a thousand watt light equals a five by five space, and you said you had a four by eight tent, right? Yes. Okay, so if you have a four by eight tent, a thousand watt light would be a bit much. So you might want to consider doing something like the kind XL. 750 because a the 750 is less light so if you have less space something you may want to consider is doing a little less light okay um and, and the second question is um sorry uh but i've noticed it was a, i think it was california solar um it's the red uh led with this california I forgot the name of them, but the manufacturer is California something or other. Okay. I, I guess they came out with these new LEDs, um, but it comes like a red uh, housing. Okay. Um, which one would you prefer, um, the kind or the California, I want to call it Solar Storm, I think it is, or something like that? I think you're talking about a company called California Lightworks, and I think this is uh, what we are 
talk give me okay so this let's see um this i think is what we're talking let me pull up a picture okay so this is what i think that you're talking about in terms of light and they're both great lights i know the guys at both companies from a personal experience the difference for me is um I, I it, the one or two times in five years I've had a problem with a kind LED, they've solved it by literally shipping the light to the store and allowing the customer to ship their light back from the store such that you had the minimum time without the light. So I know that kind on the back end is, is fantastic with their LED service. So there's that. I also know that there's a very small percentage of LEDs fail. So I don't know how much of a concern that is. Um, the guys who call my store, call my hotline with the LEDs, they usually have a similar problem, and that's too much light. It doesn't matter what brand it is. The LEDs are, are really intense. Where you had two 1000s in that space, and I suggested two 750s, man, an LED like kind is really bright. And in terms of that, okay. you may, you may want to consider, um, Let's see. In fact, I think I have a good video for them. You may want to consider doing um, a light mover, like putting a kind LED on a light mover. So, okay. yeah, it's something you may do one 1000 on a light mover instead of, uh, instead of two 750s. And that's a real concern when you're buying LEDs, because if you try to buy two kind 750s um let's take it you know what we'll do is we'll take a quick look here let's take let's just do a quick i'll help you with a little bit of a build here because when people say what the best is the best is always like this relative term of what you're willing to trade off for instance you have a four by eight tent and we're going to look at kind led 750. let's take a look at this we'll sort by lowest first and buy it now so you're at 940 bucks for a refurbished led so we're at so we're at we're at one at 900 okay and for the kind 1000 kind led 1000 it looks like we're at I mean that's not a that's so low that's not a, these aren't real okay so we're gonna call it at 1200 for the 750 and not use a refurbished and we're gonna call it at 1500 for the 1000 oh no my super awesome grow boss sample pen isn't writing and this is the 1000 okay so these are our prices so far so for two lights you would be at 2700 okay if we do one light and we add a and we add a light rail light mover we're gonna end up at okay here's one so here's a kit at 180 so if you ditch one light if you look at a light rail you're at 180 dollars okay pen sucks so you have a choice about which way you're gonna handle this you can buy two LEDs I mean the tent is gonna stay the same right anyway so the tent will stay the same well, well, well that's the thing um so I do want to get a bigger tent and okay. I do plan on um, also running multiple tents so actually I'm getting those lights on for the next road to where because I'm going to upgrade everything. So everything's going to be upsized um, probably every three months um, until I get to the product amount that I want to grow. Um, so I'm trying to, but the thing is, I'm in Bexford, California, and it gets really hot here. So I'm trying to minimize my PG&E cost because I don't want to run too hot with the lights because then i got to run the AC, and that's going to kill my overall um, profit. Okay. So, so I'm I'm that's gonna. Why I was, um, go 
Okay, so I'm going to tell you the reality now, and that's a little different than, uh, than what you've been led to believe. So let's take a look at the Kind 1000. That thing runs, what, 750 watts worth of electricity? If you buy a 1,000-watt light, what are you saving? 250 watts? Let me tell you, the cost from going from a 2-ton to a 5-ton AC is nothing. It's a little more on the buy-in, and it's a 1,000 watts worth of electricity. You're going to have to buy. It doesn't matter where you live. The reality is, and I've said it before, and I say it in the book, light is heat. I don't care if your light is a billion degrees. As long as it's 96 million miles away from us, it's okay. All light is heat. It travels as a wave from the sun, and when it impacts the surface of something, the photons, the wavelength is converted to a photon. That's why if it's 100 degrees outside, your car is 140, because the seat converts the light to heat, and the window converts the light to heat, so everything converts light to heat. When you buy an LED, the only thing that you are truly saving is the fact that an HID bulb, a high intensity discharge bulb, heats up a gas that then releases light. And that's what the sun does. The sun heats up a gas and then it releases wavelengths. An LED converts the electricity directly into light. And that saves you all of the heating up of the gas. Now, 750 watts worth of electricity. If you use 750 watts worth of electricity, um, you know those old school magnetic ballasts, those heavy ones? Well, those things yeah, would get... Yeah, that's, that's what I started with when I first started growing. Right. Those things get hot. So imagine those things in a room. You're going to have to cool it down anyway. Now, not only are you going to have to cool down the light because the light is heat when it impacts. If you look at the back of every... L you know what? Let's look at the back of the... Um, uh, I lost it. So let's look at the back of... Um, it was uh, California... When we look at the back of these LEDs, I mean, they've got four fans on them. So the, the, the bulk weight of an LED, no matter what the LED is, the bulk weight of an LED is in the heat sink. They're really heavy because of the heat sinks. Why? Because 750 watts worth of ballast stuck into an LED gets hot. When you convert 750 watts of electricity, it gets fucking hot. Now, you're going to have to put an AC in the room, no matter what. You're going yeah. to have to put an AC in the room. So let me make this suggestion so, to you. So, okay, so, well, 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 I do have an AC. And as a matter of fact, um, I got the setup for my AC from one of your other videos. So I appreciate you because um, the setup that I've been doing because I've been watching your videos is actually coming out pretty good. Um, I was just trying to find a way because summer is uh, quickly approaching. So I was trying to find a way because at first I was going to um, finish this grow I was going to tap out for the summer because I don't want to battle the the, the, the cost of cooling um, in my room. So I wanted to at least find a way to drop the um, temperature down at least some, like even 10 degrees. Um, because basically it gets extremely hot, like I said. So that's why I was trying to invest in a light that I could grow with, one, and then two, two um, some that doesn't generate as much heat as the... Um, metal highlights or the high pressure sodiums okay so what we're talking okay hang i need to get a pen hang on one second ah, I need okay. to get a okay i just had to give up on that pen because it sucked and i wanted to do a good job okay Okay. Here's here's the deal. What it, it, here's here's the deal on the way ACs work. If you buy an AC that cools 3000 watts, let's say. That AC might cost you $1000 plus 100 to run. Okay. That AC does 3000 watts. If you buy 1000 watt HID lights, if you buy three times 1,000, I would sell them to you. You could buy them new on eBay for 600 bucks, 200 bucks each. Okay, you have to buy this AC to cool the electricity no matter what. You're going to have to buy some AC. Now, if you were to do this equivalent with three 
1000 watt LED. Don't care which brand you buy. I'm not even gonna, no, I like kinds. That's what I sell in my store, but brand loyalty aside, if you do 300 watt LEDs, you're at 4,500. You're still going to need some AC. So my question is, if the difference here is $3,900, if you save $3,900, even if you ran this AC at 75%, you would only save yourself $25, $25 on the AC. Once you run an AC, I mean, you could do six lights if you just got a little more AC. I mean, the, 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 the cost of you running the AC is so much cheaper i mean like i am literally going to look at you and tell you specifically the cost of running an ac is so much cheaper and if you were to instead of buying an ac that cooled 3000 watts if you were to buy an ac that cooled 10000 watts nope that's ten thousand dollars if you were to buy an ac that cooled 10000 watts you would literally step up to an AC that maybe was 3,000 bucks. So for just a little more AC, sorry, go on. No, go ahead. Okay, so for just a little more AC, to cool from 1,000, to cool 7,000 more may only raise your AC price to 250 because ACs only get more and more efficient. It is, and, and the winner in all of this is, is if you specifically have an AC, okay. So let me grab this. There are a couple of things about ACs that you have to know. So um, is your AC a one duct or a two? Um, it's a one duct. So what I did is on that video where you have the, the ducting on the front face with the ducting tape and the hose going into the tent. Yes. Um, that's what I have. Um, I have the blower hooked up the same way you did it on, on your video. Basically, it's the same setup how you did it on your video. Um, I'm running a thousand watt um, dimmable ballast with the metal highlight right now. Okay. Now you have you have brilliantly managed to extract as much cooling as you can from that light. What I'm going to suggest to you is. Everybody wants horsepower. Everybody wants to pay for brakes. In your case, if you were to buy the appropriate AC, I believe that you would be far cheaper and far better served by buying a bigger AC and expanding into the space than you would be than buying cheap LEDs that work very well in a bigger AC. And the last thing that I sort of saved for this close-up was an ac if you do a sealed ac and you add co2 which you have to you must add co2 because the room is sealed you get 25 percent more so if you're going to do anything that looks like four lights if you're going to do anything that's four lights or more you have your choice of acs one of the acs that you can choose is a one duct where 30 percent of the air that comes in leaves the other choice that you have is the two duct. Now the two duct takes outside air, cools the motor and returns it. So none of the air inside goes out. The bonus is the inside air gets cooled over and over and over. And the more you cool the same air, just like in your house, the cooler it gets. So there's these two ACs and you have managed to brilliantly capture the cold air, duct it out and into a tent. Now this tent will have positive pressure, it will swell the sides and air will leave through the top and you'll always have cold air in the tent. The thing is you would rather have the AC inside the tent. Once the AC is inside the tent with two ducts going out, now the same air gets over and over. That's more efficient than your AC. Okay, the secret is that if you have a room like this, that two duct AC, so if the one duct equals negative performance and the two duct equals good performance the window unit 
equals, I mean, the window unit is always the one to buy. Why is the window unit always the one to buy? Because that picture that I showed you with this one, this portable roller is 500 some dollars for the two duct. The equivalent window unit is like 129 at Home Depot. Okay. Okay, so let's say that the 129 window unit from Home Depot works for you. This is the AC in a window. If, you, if it works for three lights and you add a fourth light, all you do is buy the, instead of the 129, buy the 179 AC. And now that you know that the room is sealed, you have two choices. You're either going to add CO2 tanks or you're going to do a burner. Now, you're most likely going to do a Sentinel burner something along those lines because one propane tank equals like 20 co2 tanks and it's you can exchange it at walmart instead of the hydro store so it's even less scary you know what i mean yeah. okay if you add a burner to the room instead of the 179 ac you would just buy the 249 window ac now if you can buy the 249 window ac that's great but let's say you can't buy the 249 window ac that's okay too. All you would do is buy a more professional AC for inside the room. Then you could either duck that out, but this AC is probably going to be closer to 2,500. And that's one of those one ton unit on rollers. It looks like the portable AC, that little one, but it's physically a little bigger and it's like 10 times more efficient because it has a real motor and a real compressor and a real the cooling fins across the front radiator. But either way, they're probably gonna run the same electricity. You can literally cool four lights and a burner for about 1200 watts of AC electricity. And that's some shit because, because soon as you do this, if you have four lights and you get 25% more, you get plus one light. That's one light worth of yield for free. One light worth of yield pays for more than the AC, because if this AC here is something like 250 even a month, if you can get a pound in two months, you've more than paid for the AC just by the ability to add CO2. There are other conditions. This is assuming all lights are in one room and that all lights are on at the same time. You could do something in summer where you only turn one off, but you know, we only turn three on and rotate one on and off throughout the cycle. You also may not have electricity, so you may have to do a couple of tents, and you do 8A to 8P, and you do 8P to 8A to divide the light up. And instead of doing a full load all at once, you do half during the day and half at night. Okay. What I would like to point out is after we've done all of this math and we look at all of this stuff, even if you add this AC, for $2,500 to the price of four lights, which would be $800, you would be at $3,300 for your lights, and that's $600, it's $600 less. And, and you're gonna have to put an AC in there no matter what. And so not only did you get the right AC, and you could take that $600, you would buy a $250 Sentinel burner, you'd buy a $400 Sentinel monitor, and you would have a CO2 monitor, AC, and all your lights for the price of those four LEDs. And even here, if you look at, uh, even here, this one, uh, this, this 880 model, this super nice one from, uh, California Lightworks. You know what I mean? That's 1513. So that's 1500 bucks. And that was what I used as my estimate for the price. So all I'm suggesting is you could build the entire room with the burner for just the cost of those three LEDs. Okay. So as far as because, you know, um, I, I've been researching the LEDs for about maybe a couple of weeks now, and literally, like, I'm, like, days away from purchasing them. Okay. So, um, when they say that you get a bigger yield, a better taste, 
and all that and, and all the stuff that they claim um are the leds work i mean i know no. that kind no 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 and honestly that's the one i would go with the LEDs are never, ever worth it. If you're going to buy an LED by kind because they make a fantastic product, but 100% LEDs are a 100% failure. 100% for no other reason, for no other reason, then you can buy the whole system, everything you need for just the cost of the LEDs. And, and, Here's some butt in my hand. Was it grown with an LED, a T5, an HID, an MH, a CH, a CMH? A... <sighs> my question is, have you ever picked up a bud and said, oh my God, that was grown indoors in hydro with Botanica? Have you ever smoked a bud and go, oh my God, I'm so glad that was grown with advanced nutrients? Have you ever looked at a bud and said, you know what? This bud is the best bud I have ever smoked. It must be grown with an LED. Better yet, have you ever looked at a bag and said, no fucking way, that thing was grown with a T5? That's why I tell you guys, don't worry about the light. Light equals yield. You can buy LEDs. I'm in favor of you doing a 4x8 tent with a 2750s or 1000 on a mover if you want LEDs. All I'm suggesting is, I don't know any product that says we get average bud. Every product says it gets the best bud. Those motherfucker vendors come in my store and they bring me paperwork. They're like, oh my God, we got 40% more trichomes and we got 40% more. Ah, they quote me all sorts of stuff. But the reality is the guy right before him said 40% more too. So I always wonder, is it 40% on top of 40% on top of 40% on top? And where does it end? So this is what I'm going to tell you. If you can tell me the difference in bud between an HID, T5, LED, CMH, DE, or the sun, if you can give me one defining characteristic, where not what, oh, it's a little wispy, it might be in soil. If you can give me one defining characteristic where anybody can walk up to a sack of weed and say, oh, this was and know anything. I don't know how you can know anything about the bud by looking at it. Now, if you smoke it, <coughs> you might know a little harsh. If you smell it, it might smell really good. If you smell it and it smells like hay, it was too much light because you burnt off the scent trichomes. All I'm suggesting is until anybody, any of you watching the show, any of you involved in any of this, if you can give me one defining characteristic about anything, about a bud. If you can know anything for sure, was it sprayed with Dr. Doom, SNS, Azimax, Azatrol, Azasol, or had fart lit on fire and blown on it? Don't know. Until anybody can tell me anything about the difference in a bud, I'm going to always tell you the same thing. It's all the same shit. Now, there's a difference between Indica and Sativa, and there's a difference between the hybrids, but that has nothing to do with the light. So unless you can tell me the difference. Uh, I'm, I consider LEDs to be a 100% failure, no matter what the manufacturer, for no other reason than you could buy your entire system and have money left over for the cost of the LEDs. How's that for some shit? And I'm a fan of LEDs. And when you know how to grow, they work well. Okay. So just based on the cost, I hear a kid in the background. If you spent $3,900 on LEDs, you would be into the room for another $3,000. That $3,000 you could spend on your kid. Yeah. So you tell me what okay, is... So, that's so, right. So, so, basically I should, so, so basically I should keep the 1,000 watt that I got going in there, put in the rail system, which I was thinking about doing that anyways because I've seen one of your videos, you had a rail system set up for one of the lights. Um, I am going to be scrogging. Um, so of course you are, you're in a house. Of course you're going to be scrogging. So, you don't have a 12 foot ceiling. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I was just going, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm just like every other, you know, Joe Schmo who just reads way too much information and is trying to get uh, the best product. Um, and, and that's only because, I mean, my grandma, um, 
my my grandma has her medical um um, um certification and so does my mom and you know so so I'm helping out also with uh with with, with my mom and my grandma too. So um I wanted to grow a a nice product, you know, good yield to where you know I could have some for me and my wife which we're also um 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 we also have our, have our medical cards too. So I wanted to grow enough for 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 me, my grandma, my mom and also my wife, but also have good product too. To hand out, sure. Okay, so let me ask you this: Ever go to a dispensary, and they're like, "Oh shit, this bud was grown with an LED." Um, ever had one, one dispensary? Yeah, they, 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 but 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 at the same time, like you never know because they could say anything to you. Okay, but what I'm saying is, do they have labels on the jars? Like all of this stuff says, it's the best. It, all the jars say they're the best. No jars say we're average for three dollars less. So all the jars are the best. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like when you look at a when you look at a microwave, when they first came out, the packaging said not harmful. It addressed the problem. If they have twenty jars on a shelf, they don't differentiate them by saying LED. They don't say outdoor. They don't necessarily say indoor. They list the name. They list the THC potency, but what they don't tell you is what nutrient it was grown with. They don't tell you what light it was grown with. It doesn't come with a little book, a little storybook. It like doesn't come with a 20 week garden tracker. It doesn't come with a tracker and you're like, oh shit, they were at 300 PPM at week four and 500 and they didn't add microbes and they weren't using great white. So if the things that went into it were so important, they would be listed on the jar as a selling point. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So if they're not telling you it's an LED bud, you don't have to worry about it. Let's take this a step back and let me ask you a different question. Cause I got to say this, this like a typical cannabis hotline. Like when you guys call me for like 49 bucks an hour and we schedule it, this call, is something like a pretty much that. However, you are very accepting of the information. Most guys are hotheads. So let me offer you something. Let me offer you this. How about if you start by answering a couple of questions for me and let me do it like my way now. For instance, what space are you in? Are you just growing in a bedroom? Um, I'm actually growing in a finished garage. Okay, when you say a finished garage, but does it still have like the garage door? Does it still have yeah. the garage door? Okay. So <clears throat> I would suggest sealing off the garage door, but now we know we have a garage. What's the dimension of it? Um, it's a two-car garage. Uh, okay. I don't really know the dimensions. Okay, that's okay. So let's do this then. It's standard electricity. So tell me, how many watts is the amp for the garage? Is it, is the, is it a 30 amp? Is it a, what do you have there? 25 amp what do you have access to um it it's a 30 amp okay so you have 30 amp and it's 110 right it's that three prong dryer thing is that what it is yes okay so you have 30 amp so let's just draw this picture here where we have a six plug outlet two three four five six so you've given me 30 amps and six plugs to work with okay um, we've got four people, 30 amps, six plugs, and we have a space that's probably 20 by 20. And we're going to, do you have the ability to put in a window AC? Yes. Okay. So AC equals window. And I'm going to say that's going to be $300 and we'll do up to four lights. And... Um, we're going to we're going to start there because we have four tents here so we don't we're three tents so we don't really know how much light we're prepared to deal with yet so I'm just working backward I'm putting the details together and eventually I'll be able to hand you an answer so if you have the ability to some extent to seal the garage even if you just run towels and a little something over the garage door if you can keep the garage air mostly static what you're going to shoot for then is you have a couple of choices you can do one because you have three lights so you have three spaces so we're going to do three light rotation um 
And what will happen is this will be veg, this will be flour, and this will be flour. This flour will be on from 8A to 8P. This flour will be on from 8P to 8A. This veg will be on 18.6. So mathematically, the veg has to be on for three hours during the other two lights. Now, I don't care if you do six hours at night. You can do so most of it's at night and you're running your AC at night. So you notice this is the day tent and this is the night tent. Now at this point we never have more with a three light rotation we will only have two lights same time. That's a condition at this point. Um, by two lights, I'm sorry let me change that word to mean this. We'll only have two tents on at a time. There will never be three tents on. So we've already reduced our electricity in terms of light by not running them all at the same time. And we can do that because these cheap ass tents are like 150 on eBay. Now, um, I, I suggest you, the cheap ass tents are really cheap and gorillas are really nice and durable. If you're gonna spend money on tents, gorillas are super nice. They really only hold up the lights if you're going to do heavy LEDs, the gorillas might be a big, might be a more appropriate because you're going to be hang, LEDs are heavy. If you're going to do like a big hood with no glass, that's really light, cheap tent. Notice neither one of those conditions have anything to do with the quality of your bud. So, what we're talking about here is a, cho a, cho a choice based on your needs, what's going to happen with them, and how you're going to use them. Okay. So this is a cheapo. But then it's probably six, it's probably 750 for the expensive. But then you can watch on Craigslist, you can watch on eBay. Sometimes the shit goes pretty cheap. Okay, um, that's the cheapo, that's the expensive. And um, okay, so now we have three lights, we have two on at a time. Um, and this will have to look like this, two lights plus AC. So these might be running at the same time. So that's our electrical uses, fans and stuff. Light rail, light movers are seven watts. They don't take up anything. So at this point now, if all of this continues to look okay to you, then the question becomes is what lights do we put in them? <clears throat> so you have a couple of choices. You can do two times 750 kind XL. We said those were 1200 each, so that would be 2400 per tent um, two times 750 kind XL would be 2400 so times three tenths six 7200 total okay okay I mean if it achieves the goal of the heat all right but we'll see what happens we could also do one times 1000 K per tent and that would be 4,500 for all three, but we'd also have to buy three light rails and that would be 500 bucks. So you can see that these two here would be five, th the, this would be 5,000 versus 72. So you could do a thousand watt and thousand watts are heavy. So you're gonna buy a Gorilla tent for sure. But you could take your thousand watt kind, slide it back and forth on a light rail light mover. And now you're buying one LED for a little more instead of Two smaller ones, putting them on either side. Now, you could do four by eights or five by tens. If you have the space for five by tens, buy five by tens. Of course, it does change the price of them a little more. But all three tens have to be equal and all three lights have to be equal because when you do a three light rotation, everything has to be equal because veg finishes every four weeks. So it's super fast. Um, or what you could do is you could do, if you did four by eights, you could do two times 600 watt, which would cost you $400. Or sorry, three times 600 watts, which would cost you $600. Or you could do three times, sorry, if you put two sixes in each, you would have to do six times 600 watts for 1200 because you'd put two 600s on each side. Or you do three times 1000 plus a light rail and thousands are the same price as a 600. So it'd be 600 for a thousand and three thousands plus the light, three light rails would be 500. So you'd be at 1100 for your, for 3000 watts and three light rails, or you'd be at 1200 for six 600 watts, 
or you'd be at 4,500 for three LEDs and three light rails, or you'd be at 7,900 for six LEDs, no light rails. And so when you look at, <laughs> when you look at those numbers, I mean, six, 600s at 1,200, shit, that's not bad. That would be two four by eights. See, in two four by eights, I don't care if you do a thousand watt on a mover or two six hundreds. A thousand watt on a mover, a mover adds 25%. A thousand plus 25% is 1,250. Two six hundreds is 1,200. Same shit. So it depends on what you get a deal on because you could just as easily build something with light movers to take an extra, take advantage of a couple of extra feet as you could, as you could buy two six hundreds depending on the deal that you got. So in this particular case, I'm always going to encourage you to do more light. So if you have the, if you have the space for three five by 10 tents, shit, if you can do three five by 10 tents, buy six 1,000 watt lights that cost 200 bucks each, 1,200 bucks. Put 1,000 watt on each side, put an AC in the garage. Now here's the deal about the AC, and this is super important because you're going to put a window AC in. Soon as you do this window AC, you have a couple of things. The window AC fills up the garage, but it does not directly blow into the tents. What happens is, is you have to put, and you saw the videos where I showed you how to divide the air up into three tents, right? Yeah, we were good with, uh, with the T's and the Y's yeah. and stuff. Yes, sir. So you would do that, except you would have the extra Y that was here, and this one would go into the other tent. And you can see that in my vent videos, but you would use one fan filter, perhaps a bigger fan filter, and you would suck into all three tents from the one. So the trick that you're going to do is you're going to buy an AC. Now it doesn't matter what you do, dude, you're in a garage and it's hot and it's summer. You're buying an AC. There's no way around that. The only difference that happens is, are you going to buy the AC that, are you going to buy the AC that's 129, 179, or 249? Because if you only have, and I did this earlier on purpose, if you, if, if, if you have to buy the, if you have to buy the bigger AC to do 3000 watts, that's great, but you only have two lights on at a time. So you're never gonna have 3000 watts to cool. So you could buy the smaller AC, but again, the, the difference in AC is 50 bucks, so who the fuck cares? Um, you're gonna add a burner. Now the burner is gonna take place of one of these rooms. Again, the burner will hang here and it will add CO2 to the room. And then by sucking air out of the tents, you pull air into the tents. That's why in all cases, I make fun of you guys when you put a fan on the way in and a fan sucking air out. Because if you don't suck any air out, if you don't, if there's no air to suck out, how can any blow out? And if there's no air to suck in, how can any go out? The reality is it's a, it's a stoichiometric equation, man. It has to equal. If you blow out 400, you have to suck in 400. Otherwise, it all makes one of those little vacuum sucks down into nothing and one of those little black holes that Wiley Coyote throws in front of the Roadrunner. You can't, you, you have to suck air out. That's how it works. You can't, you don't need to suck, you don't need to push air in to suck air out. Never spend money on fans like that. Okay. In this particular yeah. case now, you have uh, this I burner. I think I saw one of your videos too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's always the same mistakes. Okay. So you have this burner and the CO2 and it fills up the space in the garage. Then you have one fan filter that sucks out of all, you know, I'm going to say, just so there's no confusion, one fan filter that sucks out of all the tents and into the garage. So this fan filter, the air leaves the tents, goes into the garage where it then picks up more CO2 and cold air, and then goes back into the tent through the holes over here. So you have an entire sealed garage <clears throat> with the cheapest AC, a window unit AC, and a burner, 
from Sentinel because they're spectacular. And, and you do it like that. And suddenly the price has been reduced by 60, 50, 60, 70 percent. Okay, regardless, we haven't even got to the light yet. That's just if you choose the HID lights. But notice no matter what, you're going to have to seal, cool the space, seal the room, cool the space. And it doesn't matter what this AC is because CO2 is going to pay for the AC. CO2 is 25% more yield. If you can do 5 by 10s this is the best. 4 by 8s this is great. Anything smaller and you're not using your space efficiently anymore. So you're going to shoot for three of those. Just make sure that all three are the same size. And you have a decision to make because you're going to have to actually go and buy lights. And so you tell me if the tent, the AC, the burner, and the fan filter all stay the same, then the only difference is two sixes, four by eight, or one 1,000 on a light mover, four by eight, or if you do five by tens, two 1,000s, if those are the only differences, then the last thing you're asking yourself is, do I buy four 750s or do I buy, I mean, six 750 watt LEDs or do I buy three 1000 watt LEDs? And the question is, are you prepared to go? What is the difference in the final, now that we've built everything, the one last question that we're asking, it's not even a difference in yield. The yield equals light. And this is what this is all about. Two 600s or one 1000 on a four by eight or one 750 LED and a four by eight, those are all equal yield because you have a four by eight space. Four by eight space, it's tough to get more than two and a half pounds. A five by 10 space, you can get four pounds. A four by eight space is about two and a half pounds. So you don't want to put three pounds worth of light in a two and a half pound space. So your choice is going to be if yield equals light and quality equals grower talent, and we've agreed that the light doesn't matter. And no matter what you're going, you're in a garage, you're gonna be buying an AC and no matter what you're buying an AC. Once you buy an AC, you have to buy a burner because you're in a sealed space. Once you do all of those things, the question always becomes, are you, are, would you 1200 versus, uh, what'd we say if we just did uh, the cheapest LED version is 1200 versus 4,500. That's for the lights. Everything else stays the same. So the difference is $3,300. Do you want to spend $3,300 on LEDs? And that's a decision that you know each of us has to make when we buy it. Because if we've agreed that there's no difference in bud, and we've agreed that yield is based on light, and that there's a certain amount of yield that you can get from a space, you're not going to get 100 pounds from a 4 by 8 you're not going to get 80 pounds. You're, where is that line? And once we define that line at about two and a half pounds on a four by eight, a thousand watt light is a pound and a half. If you add a light mover, it approaches two pounds. If you add CO2, it approaches two and a half pounds. That's a thousand watt on a light mover, four by eight, or two 750s, because a thousand watt, and when you look at it in the grow book, I always show you guys this. This is, this is the simple yield formula. Yield, yield, yield is based on light. And light is a combination of how big is the bulb. If you have a thousand watt bulb, it's a thousand watts worth of light. If you add a light mover, it's 25% more. If you add CO2, it's 25% more. So if you have a thousand watt light with CO2 on a light mover, you effectively have 1500 watts. That's a little more than two 600s. That's why I tell you, light, water, CO2 equals sugar and oxygen. And nowhere in this equation does marketing or nutrients exist. Yields based on light and requires a certain amount of space and the rest is grower talent. So once we, once we put it in perspective of that, you have three four by eights or three five by tens. I mean, that's the best way for you to use that space. You add an AC in a window, that's the magic AC, man, for 299 bucks. You can cool four lights and a burner but you're never gonna have four lights on. You're only gonna have two of the three. Okay. So in terms of mathematically, if you can make, if you have to buy an AC, because even if you use LEDs, they get hot. I mean, they got heat sinks and they got, they got heat sinks and they got fans on top. It's not that they don't generate heat. It's just that they generate less heat. 
And if you're going to have to put an AC in your garage because it's hot where you live anyway, then I don't know what LEDs save you. I know they cost you $3,300 more, so I know they don't save you any money. Okay. All right, so basically, all right, well, I get it. Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you this. I'm just saying more. I mean, because, because it doesn't matter the quality of light. I mean, the quality of light does matter, but technically speaking, I'm just buying a fancy light to basically spend more money. Yes, sir. And, and, and what I tell you is that LEDs do produce a little less heat, but it's not enough. If you just take the glass out of the hood and buy a bigger AC and add CO2, you're, if you had to add the AC anyway, all we're talking about is $50 more in a bigger AC and a 1200 watt to 1400 watt AC. And you're already running 2000 watts. So, 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 so all the, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but all the features that the kind um, LED offers as far as um, the I think it was like six or eight um, um, bands, uh, spectrums, uh, spectrums where you could like uh, oh uh, yeah up up the percentage and like have it have it sunrise to sunset. So all that really doesn't matter. I mean, because I, I I'll be honest. I mean, I know we're almost recreating Mother Nature. So I was looking at the lights and I like all the features that that it had to offer. It's just I've been contemplating spending the thirty three or thirty two hundred dollars for the for, for the two. K5 um, uh, um, XL1000. Okay. So let me ask you this. And this is an important factor because this is the decision that you're going to have to make. The question is, you're, I want you to assign a value. And this is just how I make decisions. You have to assign a value to $3,300. One of the questions is, that you asked was sunrise to sunset. So for number one, I would like you to assign a value. If you are a great grower and you can, if you once, do you even, let me just ask this, just be straight up honest. Do you even think you, you're good enough to make this rotation sing? And by sing, I mean, you need to be getting minimum two and a quarter every 30 days are you do you, are you good enough to do that yes i am okay so on a skill level of one to ten where do you rate yourself uh, a comfortable eight okay only because you know what i don't know everything and i always second guess myself um so i would say an eight Listen, you've been you've been really good on the phone in terms of your grasp of the knowledge, which means I, I don't have to teach you how to grow. If I was answering a bunch of nutrient questions, this would be a different conversation in terms of your experience level. So I will vouch for your eight just because this is the thousandth call like this that I've done. So if you have an eight, then let me ask you if a bud, if you 100% express the genetics, Whatever the genetics are, you're capable of 100% expressing the plant. How much do you think sunrise is going to get you? So, I mean, basically what we're just doing, voting is LED slash, LED slash HID. How much better in value do you think sunrise, sunset? Do you think it's maybe 3, 5, 10%? more not even quality okay just quality how much quality have you ever smoked a bud that was 20 percent more so we know we know statistically that the highest bud in the facilities is 30 percent straight bud on the bud that's the thc in the facilities is about 30 percent you can make wax out of it you can make wax out of it and that's fine but we know it's about 30 percent so i would like you to tell me how much you think the best bud you could grow with an hid you think 22%? You think you could grow 30% bud with, because earlier you said they don't label the jars based on light. They label the jars, you agreed that it's based on THC. So you've got a jar, you know, essentially you have a jar on the counter and there's a label. It says THC is 30%. Now, how much more would you pay for a bud that said LED? I wouldn't really care. Um, oh, okay, so 
we know that the LED is worth zero percent more to you. Now, if somebody wrote sunrise, sunset, because now if it's sunrise, sunset, if they wrote that this was outdoors, would it be worth more to you because it was grown outdoors? Nah. No, because outdoor bud is never ever worth more. So, sunrise, sunset. Now, if outdoors isn't make it valuable, then okay, let's 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 say, then the sunrise, sunset is. How much is the sunrise, sunset? Let's say LED wasn't worth it. So let's say sunrise, sunset. Would you pay more for the this jar of thirty percent if it said sunrise, sunset? No, no. Is the facility going to pay you more to buy it? No. Um, is grandma going to be able to tell the difference? No. If you make it into wax, would anybody ever know? Okay. I understand where you're going with it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, we haven't even... We, uh, so I mean, quality is quality is worth zero. So let me ask you, in terms of heat, it looks like heat's the only thing left to you. So if heat's the only thing left, you have to buy an AC. The only, thing, the only benefit you get from an LED is the heat. Then you buy a $50 more expensive AC that costs you $10 more a month to run. And you enjoy yourself and you never think about it. Okay. That's, That's why. Uh, you know what? I, I really appreciate this. I'll be honest. Um, I watch all your videos. As a matter of fact, uh, you know my brother, he helped you shoot a couple of videos of, of when he's in Vegas. No, I know who that is. I won't say his name, but yeah, the video. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, dude, he was spectacular. He helped me get started. Yeah, man, he's he, he's a really awesome guy. And, uh, well, like the first time I started growing was about seven years ago because my late wife had cancer, so that's why I started growing. But after she passed away, I stopped. But just recently, my my my, my grandma got real ill, and so did my mom. And you know, I've, I've been having problems, and so has my wife. So I, I I thought you know instead of giving all this money to these uh, shops, I'd go ahead and start growing for for us. Um, so that's why I've been really kind of you know. Because, like I said, like I know summer's quickly approaching, and I don't want to battle the heat. Um, I already do have an AC for the garage. As a matter of fact, I was going to add ducting from my main AC in the house and just put a registry in the garage, too, to also help um, cool it down. No, and, um, no, no, I, no, I no. I got it pretty much sealed off. You can't, if you, if you, you can't blow air in. If you blow 300 CFM into the garage, either 300 CFM has to leave or... It stops blowing air in because once the paper bag is full, <gasps> once the paper, you can't put any more air in, either it pops or air has to leave. Okay. So there's okay. a, when you, you seal the room. But again, I mean, I got you a $249, $299 AC, so don't even worry about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, listen, I'm glad you're doing the right thing and helping everybody. I'm glad it's legal where you're at so you can do the right thing and help everybody. And I'm glad you're gonna take the $3,300 you're gonna save and go buy yourself whatever it is you want. Buy something for the kid, buy something for your wife, and, and enjoy the money. And that's why I tell you, LEDs are 100% failure, even if you succeed with them, because you could have had $3,300, paid off a car, bought a car. I mean, we could count all the things, 3,300, you could start a business with 3,300. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I appreciate everything. You've been a great assistance. I mean, cause that's one thing. I, I, the past couple of days is just struggling. Like, I, okay, I, I have it, but is it really worth it in the long run? You know. So it was something to where I mean, like you said, I mean, yeah, I have, I have four, four kids. You know, uh, my son's about to go off to college, and you know, so it, it was. I, I'm really weighing my options here, and. I mean, you just shed it a light. I mean, honestly, I, I, I couldn't appreciate you more. I'm so pleased for you, dude. Your kids sound successful. I'm pleased that you have the ability to hear the advice, weigh it for what it's worth, and then make a judgment based on the information presented to you in a way that, that no manufacturer of any product ever could. Because even my book, I'll tell you honestly, the same thing about my book. If you don't want to hear the truth, there's no reason for you to buy this book because I'm a guy who owns a store. And all I do is tell you the math of what happens in my store. 
I like LEDs. I think they're fantastic. They're the right thing for the right situation. But not everything fits every situation. You don't drive a dump truck to work. You don't park a Ferrari in a Walmart parking lot and get groceries with it. You just, there are just some things that are inappropriate. So I am super pleased it works out. Have a great Easter, my friend. And thank you so much for the call. I right, appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. Okay. So now call ends. I'm supposed to hang up on Skype. Wait, wait, I think I call ends. So when I, all right, this is the problem of doing a show. So the call ends, I can unmute the TV and okay, got a little music and my mic is on. Oh, yes. After a couple failures, I've managed to recover this show. I'm the grow boss. And if you want to know more about growing, this is the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. I own a hydro store. I don't have to teach you how to grow. All I have to do is teach you how not to fail. And if you want in my $69 kit, check this out. Oh, so in my $69 kit, blam. Okay, so can't do any more Skype today. So I'm gonna finish up this show. I appreciate the calls and in the $69 kit. Okay, so I'm not on the right internet one and on the $69 kit, this one's great. On the $69, let's see, get rid of that. And it fits, shows always growing and maturing. If you want to go, this is the growboss.com. It ships discreetly. These are my books. These are my magazines. The No More Grow More cards. These are the ones with the questions and answers because I already know every problem you're going to have because I run a hydro store and you guys always ask the same questions. And so if you want the kit, it's $69. We're going to start selling these shirts on the website. They should be up, or right, up, up in the next couple of days. I've got the Club 15 shirt, which was behind me yesterday and isn't there now. And if you have any questions, you can always call the Cannabis Hotline during the week and set up an appointment with me at the top of the web page up here, Cannabis Hotline. And of course, if you weren't the lucky caller that got on for this show, it's $49 an hour. But again, $49 just saved you $3,300. Unless you're that guy. And you'll know what I mean in, club, in Group 15. If you read the Grow Book and Equipment Guide, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, everything you need to know to grow I'm the grow boss. I appreciate you watching this almost got the whole thing just right episode of Cannabis Hotline. Thanks so much. And some help music. I forgot I want to tell you one more thing. If you can figure out what I was making fun of on the front of this cover, send, send the answer to the grow boss at yahoo.com and I'll hook you up with a shirt and uh, we'll get you some fun stuff and some swag. The grow boss at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.
You only have to start over if you quit.